Speaking in Parliament, Workers' Party MP Louise Chua Sengkong GRC asked the government to defer the proposed goods and services tax GST hike. The GST was raised from 7% to 8% this year and set to go up to 9% on January 1, 2024. Urging the government to defer the hike, Mr Chua cited the cost of living crisis, which is threatening the living standards of many Singaporeans and a better-than-expected fiscal position for the government. There have been yet another year of record high collections of corporate income tax, personal income tax and even GST, he noted. I find it difficult not to feel a strong sense of imbalance and injustice here. He said, having begun his speech by saying that higher living costs are the number one issue that residents speak to the WP team about when they go on house visits. Indeed, the World Economic Forum Global Risk Report 2023 ranked the cost of living crisis as the top-ranked global risk by severity over the next two years. Given stubborn inflationary pressures, food supply, and energy supply concerns, noted Mr Chua, although he acknowledged that the inflation rate has gone down of late. However, at 4%, it is still higher than the 1-2% to rate that Singaporeans have been used to for decades. He listed, as well the current and coming price hikes that have caused concern to residents, electricity prices up by an average of 3. 7% compared to 3 months ago, gas prices up by 2.3% compared to 3 months ago, public transport fares set to go up by 7% next year, with another 15. 6% points of future fare increases yet to be inflicted on commuters, unleaded 95 octane petrol, now close to 3 Singapore dollars a litre and of course, not forgetting COE prices, which continue to set new record highs, with Cat A at 105 Singapore dollars, 000 and Cat B 140,889 Singapore dollars. Could we not, at the very least, defer the planned increase in GST in 2024? He asked. He noted that with the GST raised from 7 to 8 percent at the beginning of the year. The government expects GST revenues for this year to be 2.9 billion Singapore dollar higher than last year. This, Mr. Chua said, is already close to what the full GST hike was supposed to bring in. With government revenues already better than initially projected at the five-month mark, is it that difficult to delay the second step of the GST increase? He asked. I leave Singaporeans to draw their own conclusions.